Hi, my name is Johan Falk. I am a uh, used to be a Drupal developer, now I'm a math teacher, but I still do some Drupal stuff and I'm working with a project called Mechanical Tutor, which I kind of do to uh, mimic some of the things uh, over at a cool site called Khan Academy, where you can practice math stuff. Uh, let's let's just find something here. Uh, yeah, well, evaluating composite functions, why not? Um, we have, like, here's a, a function and a function, then what is this expression equal to, and then you have to, like, calculate yourself crazy. And then this is evaluated by a computer to let you know if you got this right or not. Uh, and that's kind of a, a good idea. If you have questions that uh, computers can evaluate, uh, then let the computers do, do it, because then your t uh, students can... Uh, practice as much as they want and you can find out uh, how things are going for them as they move along. You save time and they save time and everyone is happy. Right, uh, so I have this project called Mechanical Tutor and I want to show you how it can be used. So I set up a site here and I've downloaded this project and all its dependencies and I uh, installed kind of my standard installation with some of the modules I like and now I'm going to log in using my secret uh, login name and things. This is the admin menu module that does this kind of things and if I go to modules I have a module called module filter enable which gives this nice list of modules and here is tutor uh, the mechanical tutor modules, including the me mechanical tutor project. And also I might add a project called math questions that has some extra questions here. I'm gonna ex extend this and have a lot of questions in this module, but I don't, uh, I don't have that yet. Uh, so I'm gonna make this easy for myself and just enable all of this. Um, they are, let, let's uh, have a look at these. Mechanical tutor API, the basic uh, module that um, manages the questions and things like that. Uh, canvas drawings allows us allows uh, mechanical tutor to have canvas stuff uh, and uh, then we have yeah uh, this is used to create graphs and uh, coordinate systems uh, for functions and things like that. Uh, example this provides I think eight questions or something for mechanical tutor. Math library uh, allows well provides some API for like drawing uh, canvas stuff on, uh, well, it's drawing math stuff on canvas, and also evaluating mathematical expressions, and evaluating um, equations and equation patterns, which is kind of cool. Tutor field, and the tutor question field uh, allows showing these questions as a field on entities, which is the standard way of doing it right now. Uh, right now, actually, the only way of doing it. Uh, I'm thinking of having it embedded in some other ways, or even having questions being entities, but I'm not sure. And then finally, the tutor statistics records uh, the uh, results of what you're doing, well, how students are doing with the questions. So let's enable all of these, and then you have like a bunch of modules that should be enabled as well. So let's do that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And then it's time for a cup of tea. There. So, um, now all these are enabled. And I have a new content type on my site. Let's check that out. It's called exercise. It's a very simple content type. It has a title. Let's call this test question. And then it has a field where you can select one question. Let's, let's uh, take the easiest one, adding one digit numbers. Save. And then this field is rendered as a question. What is 7 plus 2? And you can answer 9. Submit. And uh, if you answer correctly, you get this nice message here. And your current streak is increased by 1. And if that is better than your best streak already, then that is also increased. So you can do this. And if you answer wrong, like 5 or something, uh, you get an error message. And your current streak is reset. You can also give up. If this is too difficult, you can just say, I had enough, and it says, okay, I'm generating a new question, and this counts as a wrong answer, by the way. So you get a new question. You can go on like this. Um, 
Okay, so let's have a look at this under the surface. Well, let's actually start by editing this um, question here, this, this node, and change the question. Uh, like recognize function graphs, save. Then you have another question here. Now the type of question is still the same node. You still have the same statistics for this node, which is uh, kind of interesting. And you can submit answers to this, just as the previous question. These can be varied quite much. These, are, these questions are built by coders, uh, so you can't really click together a new question as a site builder. Uh, and that's life. Uh, I, that's a path I chose because I want to have pretty large... Well, I, I don't see how you can really make a framework that allows all the flexibility I want when building questions. Um, yes, okay. So let's have a look at a few of the site builder things included in this module. And then we'll have a look in the next video, have a look at the code, how to write your own questions and things like that. Um, so, yeah, this is a field. Let's have a look at that. Structure, content types, exercise, managed fields. Uh, here it is. Uh, a field type is called tutor question. Doesn't have any settings at all. It's just embedding a question. You can select multiple values and required and help text and things like that, but nothing extra. Um, uh, something that is more interesting is this statistics thing down here. Uh, this is managed by a completely new entity type. If you go to, let's replace this one, structure entity types. This is managed by entity construction kit. Cool module. I didn't realize you could do so much cool stuff uh, with code, from code with entity construction kit, but you can. There's an entity type called tutor question statistics, and there's a bundle of that called default statistics. And you can, as with fieldable entities add fields and stuff on this. Let's just have a look at the list of entities here. Here we have one entity, uh, current streak to best streak to. This represents somewhere in the background, not as a field, but we can actually edit here and change these field values if we are uh, have, have sufficient permissions. This represents this uh, question here. And somewhere in the background is a value saying that this uh, statistics entity belongs to node number one and also to user number one because that's a user account I'm working with right now. This will work for anonymous users as well and then you will have user ID zero and everyone that is not logged in will share this uh, user ID which is kind of not optimal but it works. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, this is displayed using a view down here. Let's enable views UI. Rush enable views UI, is that the name? New. Uh, in views admin, maybe. Uh, so embarrassing, I have to go through the UI. Views UI, I wonder what the machine name is. But we'll see. Okay, there it is. Let's reload here. And we can have a look at the view here. This is a view of statistics entities, tutor st uh, question statistics, and it's filtering out. It's using uh, the entity views attachments module, EVA. It is also displayed as a block, but it's not nearly as cool to have a block as the EVA field here. Uh, and it's taking in the uh, uh, two contextual filters. One is the ID of the viewed node and one is the acting user. So it filters in two different ways and displays only the uh, statistics entities belonging to the node we're viewing uh, and the acting user. Can I, can I go back? Yes, I can. And that results in one statistic no, uh, entity right now. Okay, one more thing before I quit the screencast. Uh, in configuration, oh, we have to enable another module. Let's try this. Oh, I know I wasn't in the in the right uh, directory. So drush enable rules admin. What the? Drush enable rules admin. 
There we go. Okay, thank you. So the rules interface is now enabled. Rules workflow, yep. Um, you have, I think, three new events uh, provided by, by um, Tutor Statistics or Tutor, well, no, the Tutor API module. Um, it is a question is correctly answered, a question is incorrectly answered, and a question is abandoned. Let's have a look at this one. Question is incorrectly answered. Let's see if this resets the streak. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this counts as a wrong answer. Okay, um, but then something something happens. Uh, rules is handled handled some information from the question, like the entity the question is uh, attached to as a field, and we check that this is a node, and then we reset the current streak uh, for for that node, um, and that's it. And this can be changed. You can like compare if let's go back if someone um, answers correctly. Oh, there are there are two more events. Let's actually have a look at that. Rules add new rule. Uh, yeah, the best streak for a question is increased. So if someone reaches say ten in a row or fifteen in a row on a question, you could. Uh, like award some special points or send an email to the teacher or or something saying that hey it seems that this student knows how to do two digit multiplication I don't know something and that's kind of nice um, yeah okay uh, I think that's it in the next video I'm going to show you some coding stuff for mechanical tutor see you there oh, oh one more thing if you want to install mechanical tutor you have to uh, get a library Let's see how to use down here, download, and then you have to get a, a library for evaluating mathematical expressions, if you want to use the math questions at least. And you get that from this uh, page here, which is linked from uh, uh, in the uh, project description. It's also in the readme file, and, and yeah. If you wa just want to check this out very briefly, you can try out a, s a sandbox version. Uh, by simply test.me. If you go here, you can spin up a sandbox site and it's like up and running in 40 seconds or something. It's absolutely awesome. <sighs> I think that's it. I'll see you in the next screencast. Bye.